Okay. So as most of you know, I don't live an uneventful life. Go to the gym this morning. Same gym I've been going to for the last couple of years. Same bullshit over. The guy who runs the place, I guess it's called Dog, seems to have a problem with me. He always tries to pick. He started picking again today. I'm in the middle of a set and he's running his lip. Anyway, make a long story short, he cuts in and says, Hey man, you've been coming here in the morning and coming in the afternoon. He said, you're only allowed two hours a day in the gym. Bull fucking shit. I ain't allowed nothing. I ain't signed nothing that says I'm only allowed two hours in the gym. I pay to go to the damn gym. I'll go when I want to go. Ain't never heard no crap like that. That's like saying, oh, you're allowed to come here and get your gas and a few snacks here at the at the local 7-Eleven, but you're not allowed to come back more than twice a day to get your gas. How many businesses, you know, do this shit? Anyway, so me being in the mood I was in, I said, look, man, get out of my face. Just, just whatever, man, just get out of my face. So he starts running his mouth. He wants to get involved. This dude's always picking wants to fight. This is the same guy who will cuss people out and run them out of the gym. He cussed some woman out so bad he followed to a car. Older woman, that she never came back. He should have got his ass kicked for that. And he's done this multiple times. And he, nobody will get rid of him. Nobody will get rid of him. This guy's worthless. He's, he's a tool. Anyway, so he leaves. And, I, and he, you, you're going to leave. I said, I ain't going no damn where. I'm fucking doing my set. I'm in the middle of my set. You get out of my face, man. So he leaves. Long story short, uniformed officer shows up. He comes back and says, hey, man, he said, I got to escort you out. <laughs> no problem. I was cool with that. Dude that actually showed up is somebody that actually works out at the gym with me. I'm friends with local, local law enforcement here, and I don't care. These guys got a job to do. That's fine. He wants to call law enforcement. That's fine. Then Chuck starts to get all biggity, wants to act all brazen and bad while the cop's there. So I got right back up in his shit, and I let him know, hey, you ain't king of the jungle, dude. Don't get up in my face. Don't tell me what I am and ain't going to do. You understand that? And then he backed off. Cop or no cop, I will flatten your ass out and leave you laying in the floor for a long time. Permanent. Because I don't play that shit. Anyway, so now i got to find somewhere else to go because I'm in the middle of training because I'm trying to get to Arnold Classics in a couple of years. And I'm not going to just stop going to the gym. And the afternoon sessions that I was going to was because I'm training somebody. You know, you go, to, you go to school, go to college, and you learn how to do these things, and you want to, you know, kind of get into that and do that later. Because, I mean, you know, I ain't going to get nothing. Ain't nobody going to give me shit. You know, left me all broke up. Good. That's fine. All right, I come back. Now I've come back. Now i got other bullshit to deal with. How much shit's going to be thrown at me, I don't know, and I don't really care, to be honest with you. Keep throwing it, because I ain't backing down. Anyway, it's out of my way, but I'll go somewhere else. You lost your business, dude. And if I ever get the money, ever get the money, and I'm trying to put it together, I'm going to open up a big-ass mecca gym around here, and I'm going to take everybody's business. And I swear it on my life, it'll be the last damn thing I do before a breath leaves me. If I can do it, I'll get it done. And that's all I got to say about that shit.